I'm really big on spending more time getting ready to model than I am just jumping into it um, because the more time you spend checking out what you're about to do, the fewer problems you'll, you'll run into. And one of those problems that's, that really does suck when you know, you're modeling and you're pretty far along and then you realize your arms are too short or too long. Um, I prefer to check it with a circle, a NURB circle. I just want to create NURB circle. And then you kind of put it about where you think the arm would rotate from. And it looks like I've, in this instance, it looks like I've pushed the arm out too far. So what we can do is just find, you know, where this finger is. And then move this back in. It looks like I maybe, well, I'm going to group them. So to group them, it's doing a control G and then modify center pivot. And I'm going to hit insert. And I'm holding down on V. If you notice up here, when I hit V, it turns snapping to point on. And you can snap to vertices that way. So I middle moused and it snapped it right to, to the edge of, of this um, cylinder. And then I hit insert again to go back. And we'll rotate this guy down and see where I've screwed up. Looks like this guy could be nudged up some. And this guy can definitely be brought up. Notice it's notice also how this is scaling because of where I have the pivot. So keep that in mind too when you're modeling. Um, that your where you put your pivot does does matter. And that looks, looks a bit better. And then we'll rotate this guy back up to zero. And it's going beyond the circle a bit, but what's more important is that, you know, we're matching the drawing here. So that's, you know, negligible, um, a negligible difference. What I don't do is um, is I don't use this geometry now to um, to build the arm. I just use it as a as a template um, because you'll spend more time trying to merge these guys um, than you would if you just bring in you know a cylinder, um, a new cylinder, and and go from there. Um, so. We do want to keep this stuff around, so I'm going to put this on a layer, name it um, arm circle ref, or whatever makes sense to you. Um, and we can hide that, and then another. Ah, uh, didn't need that. Then select um, this group, and I'll just name the group um, arm length uh, gr underscore GRP. I like to suffix my stuff so I know, you know what it is and I also avoid name clashes that way. So arm length layer and then we can you know, set that to reference or a template and then it's just kind of there and you know, we're not selecting it or anything. Are there any questions so far?